Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday and happy Magic Mail Monday. I have gotten quite a few new subscribers on my channel since my last Magic Mail Monday, which was two weeks ago. So if you are new here, hello and uh, welcome to my little corner of the internet. Magic Mail Monday is a day that I've set aside to share Disney mail that has arrived in my P.O. box. And most of it is sent from wonderful subscribers and, um, and Disney friends and I just kind of like to set aside a designated video every week or as close to weekly as I can to say thank you and, um, and to share some of the fun things that have arrived in my PO mailbox. If you are not new here, then you know the drill and thank you, by the way, for, for being around and, and being my, my friend out here in the Disney world. I do have a pretty big stack of magic mail to share with you today and um, I'm definitely behind. I'm kind of in the weeds on opening my mail and sharing it with you in general. So thank you so much for your patience. I'm gonna jump right into this pile and I'm gonna get through as much as I can. So hopefully I can still get this uploaded for you today. But I actually wanna start with um, with this package. And this mailer did not in fact arrive in my PO box. This is actually a package from my friend Beth of the YouTube channel Beth Lung, a fellow Disney YouTuber. And she recently did a pickup for me of something very special that was just release. It is a highly collectible Disney item that I know a lot of people get very excited about but that I have somehow managed to avoid purchasing in my life as a Disney fan up until now. I just got my very first Disney Dooney and Burke handbag and I will just say up front I'm actually not that big of a handbag girl it's not something that I typically spend a lot of money on I have my little backpacks and my little like park bags and things but I'm not a big like fancy brand name handbag lady I like to spend my money on other stuff like stuffed animals and pins uh, as the case may be however Dooney and Burke just came out with a Disney cats themed uh, range of handbags and I knew I had to get my hands on at least one of them and my good friend Beth was able to do a pickup for me on the day that they were released and I kind of waffle back and forth about getting a big one or like the pass holder exclusive one but because like I said I'm not a huge handbag girl I went for the uh, tiny little crossbody clutch and this is my first time ever holding one of the Disney Doonies in my hand and I have to say the quality is super nice and now that I have one I I'm kind of thinking this might not be my last one I might end up sort of hunting a few more of these down but it's really beautiful I just wanted to show you guys and and give you a quick close-up so if somehow you haven't yet seen the Disney cats uh, Dooney and Burke collection this is what the pattern looks like it's got all kinds of famous and also more obscure Disney cat characters so you can see on the front of my bag you've got Lucifer from Cinderella you've got O'Malley and Duchess from the Aristocats as well as Marie and uh, little Berlioz who's one of my faves from the Aristocats you also have Raja from Aladdin. Just all kinds of really cute uh, cats on here. I'm glad Figaro made it onto the bag. Figaro is one of my favorite cats. Simba's on there. You've got Sai and Am from Lady and the Tramp. All kinds of really good ones. There's Bagheera um, from Jungle Book. So, so cute. Really great design. And um, the bag that I chose is a, kind of a clutch style, but it's also a crossbody. So this is like magnetized here and it flips open and then you can zip it or unzip it as the case may be. Um, and inside there is a, a crossbody strap and you can attach it to um, to the hardware here and wear it across your across your body, hence the name crossbody bag. I just wanted to give you a quick close-up of this. I'm not great at describing handbags, but I am really, really excited about this one. I also love the uh, little leather tassel. I think it looks extra fancy, as well as the classic Dooney gold hardware. I truly can't wait to bring this thing down to the parks with me in August. Trip announcement coming soon um, for the Fairy Tales Epcot pin event, which is all Disney pets related. This is like the perfect thing to wear. So thank you so much to my friend Beth for doing a park pickup of this for me. And I will leave a link to Beth's channel, Beth Lung, down in my description box. She is, like I said, a fellow Disney YouTuber, pin collector, merchandise fiend, uh, etc. And she 
actually lives down near the parks and she does park pickups as well. So if you'd like to connect with Beth, you can click her link um, down in my description box. And thank you, girl. And I just, I had to show this off, even though it's not technically magic mail from my PO box. I um, I love it and uh, it probably will not be my last Disney Dooney now that I see how nice it is. Okay, now that the crazy cat lady fancy handbag is out of the way, I will move on to some mail that I received from you. Um, almost all of this stuff has been very generously gifted from subscribers or, or friends that I've made during my time on YouTube. And uh, the first package I want to share with you in the category of magic mail actually comes from um, a friend named Adam who lives in the UK. We've kind of connected a little bit on Instagram and he watches my channel. And he recently went to the Tokyo Disney Resort, which is number one on my bucket list of Disney things to do and just kind of number one on my bucket list of travel, period. I would love, love, love to get to Tokyo and I would love, love, love to go to those parks, especially Tokyo Disney Sea, which everyone says is like the best flipping theme park ever in the world. So um, Adam sent me a package of some goodies. I, I kind of snipped it open. I think there might be a pin in here and it also looks like there are, um, there are some treats. So I'm really excited and hi Adam um, and thank you so much for for the gifts and for thinking of me and I'm sorry it's taken me so long to open this. So first of all, there is um, a little envelope. It says Becca because that's my name. And this stationery that it's written on is actually from the Tokyo Disney Resort. Look how cute this is. And on the back it says Tokyo Disney Resort where dreams come true. I have no doubt that that is uh, the case. Oh my gosh, and here we have a very sweet note on super, super cute stationery. It says, hey Becca, hope all is well with you. As you know, I'm back from Disneyland Paris and the incredible Tokyo Disney Resort. In my last mailer, I sent you a pin which may have inspired a new side collection. That's true, he sent me um, this really amazing 101 Dalmatians pin. And he said, so I saw this pin at Tokyo Disneyland and thought it would help out in growing your collection. I've also added a couple of Tokyo treats for you and Tigger, Tigger's my husband, Aaron, uh, to try out, including a sweet potato flavored Kit Kat. Enjoy and speak soon. Thank you so much, Adam. I'm really excited to try the treats. I really love um, funky flavored Kit Kat bars. They're usually really, really good. So I'm, I'm looking down at my treats and I'm super excited. But let's find this pin. Um, first, there's a little Tokyo Disney um, bag. And I think the pin is in here. The light outside my windows keeps changing today, so it's kind of like light and dark and light and dark, and you'll just have to bear with me because it's it's Monday. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. There's actually two pins. It's two pins in one, um, and they're 101 Dalmatians themed. These are gorgeous and they're glittery. Okay, let me get close to my camera. I actually think these were released fairly recently in the Tokyo Disney Resorts and you've got Pongo and Perdita and then two of the Dalmatian puppies on their heads and they're all kind of looking at each other. It's almost like um, a Brady Bunch family portrait. This is adorable and they're just really lovely pins, kind of heavy duty and then if you look behind them, there's like all this uh, gold glitter um, and kind of iridescent blue glitter on, on Perdita's. This is so cool. Thank you so much, Adam. I love these pins. And here are the uh, Kit Kat treats he included. These are matcha flavored Kit Kats. I think I might have tried these before. They're really, really super good. And then these little ones here, I guess, are the sweet potato flavored Kit Kats. I'm going to save these for... Um, for my husband. I have plans to film a couple of pin and wishables unboxings with my husband uh, later this week and I'm gonna make sure that we taste these treats um, on those videos as well so you can stay tuned for those and thank you so much. And um, finally, there is a really cute postcard from Tokyo Disney Sea. Actually, yeah, he says, that Tokyo Disney Sea really does look like this. And here is the postcard. Look how cute they all look. We've got uh, the Fab Five, well, minus Pluto and plus Daisy, but you get the gist. That's adorable. Thank you so much, Adam. That was such a nice package, and I'm so excited about the treats and the pins. And Adam has a great Instagram account. I will leave a link to it down below. It's mostly Disney pin stuff and um, also some of his Disney adventures. So uh, check out his Instagram account in my description box and, and go tell him I, I sent you. And, and thank you again, my friend. All right, next up I have a mailer from Virginia. This is from Olivia in Virginia. Olivia is one of my all-time favorite names, by the way. Hi, Olivia. 
Olivia. Thank you for sending me some magic mail. I've um, snipped this open. Ooh, I think I see some fun wearable things in here. And also a little card that says Disney Kitty on it. So we'll open this up. Hello, Disney Kitty. My business partner and I love your channel. Well, thank you. We are huge Disney fans. We wanted to send you some scrunchies that we make and sell. The ones we have enclosed are a representation of your bubbly personality and your channel. We hope you enjoy. And you can check out our Instagram. Their Instagram is OD Handmade. I'll link to their Instagram down below in case you want to check out these scrunchies. But let me pull out the scrunchies and show you. And thank you so much to Olivia and Daisy. Scrunchies are back in. Isn't that fun? I um, grew up in the 80s and 90s. Uh, I was a kid during like the late 80s, early 90s, that was kind of like my heyday and scrunchies were definitely a thing when I was a kid and it's just always fun, like every time they make a comeback, it makes me excited. So, oh cute, so we have like a bright cheerful yellow scrunchie and we've got two, I'll get closer with these two, two Disney themed scrunchies. So there is a cute little red one with some uh, Mickey heads on it, super adorable. And then we also have a Steamboat Willie kind of classic black and white Mickey Mouse scrunchie. These are are so cute and they're gonna look so adorable all together. I especially like the black and whiteness of the second one. I'll have to put together um, a couple outfits that I can wear these with when I'm down in Disney next because these are so cute. Thank you very much. If you're interested in checking out some handmade scrunchies or maybe twinning with me on a Steamboat Willie scrunchie, which is so cute, um, you can check out their Instagram, which I will link in my description box. And thank you again, and I can't wait to wear these. Next up for Magic Mail today, I have a package from um, Ashley in Ontario, Canada. So hello, Ashley in Canada. I love Canada. I always say that, but my husband and I vacation um, in Canada frequently. So I'm always like, yay, Canada. It's, it's a large country, but I just get really <laughs> excited. Um, let me see if I can find a note. I'm seeing lots of little um, cute toys and goodies in here. So let me see what I'm, what I'm looking for here. Ah yes, yeah, so here is the note. It's got two cute little kind of like swooshy bunny stickers on it. Very sweet. And oh, it's Minnie Mouse. There's so many cool Disney greeting cards out there and I feel like I'm seeing a new one every day. It's really fun to see all the Disney stationery. It says, you can read on camera. Okay, it says, Dear Becca, my name is Ashley and I live in Canada. I'm in my 20s and I love Disney, so I love watching your channel. Thank you for your channel and for showing Disney magic. I'm sending you a few characters that you mentioned liking in your videos. Thank you very much. Well, I am not in my 20s. <laughs> I wish I was, um, but it's a great time of life and you're never too old to love the things that you love. And um, I super appreciate you thinking of me. And then I'm also noticing there's like an extra sticky note that says, I love both Disney and Hello Kitty. I'm sending you some stickers too, so awesome. Thank you, Ashley. Okay, here's some stickers. Oh my gosh, I love these stickers. So we have two Hello Kitty stickers. I used to be a big Hello Kitty nut back when I was in college. I used to spend all my money at the Sanrio store in Times Square when I lived in New York, so super cute stickers. And then, I especially love these. These are cats masquerading as sushi. I always get such a kick out of these. I've seen these a few times. I might have some, but I, I hoard them all, so um, thank you. I love these uh, cat sushis, so cute. And then Ashley also sent me a whole bag of little toys and figures, so fun. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take them all out and I'm gonna get super close to my camera and I'm just gonna show you them one by one so that I don't have to keep standing up and sitting down on my squeaky chair, so bear with me here for a second. So first up we have a couple of little Tsum Tsum characters, obviously we've got Snow White and also Little Lady from Lady and the Tramp, one of my favorite Disney dogs. Uh, and then we also have this one from Nightmare Before Christmas and I don't know the name because <laughs> I don't watch the movie that often. I actually really like this movie but I don't know all the little um, characters' names but he's sitting in actually kind of like a scary, a scary like, I don't know, like trap door, jaws of life, crush your face thing as well. Good job describing me. So there you go. And then she also sent several of the little Disney Dorables figures. So this is Flash from Zootopia. I did not have this one yet and I am a Zootopia collector. We have the Dormouse from Alice in Wonderland. The Blue Fairy from Pinocchio. Pinocchio is one of my fave classic Disney animated films. Also Geppetto from Pinocchio. I've actually never seen this Dorable before. That's really cute. 
and a very sparkly Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. I think when they're sparkly, they're kind of like special or, or exclusive or something. Super cute. And then finally, two little pencil toppers. You've got Mickey, and then we have a snowman. I'm not sure if the snowman is meant to be Olaf or if it's just a generic snowman, but they're very cute. Thank you so much, Ashley, for thinking of me and for the toys and the stickers and the note and uh, sending you some big hugs up in Canada. Next up, I have to share with you a box. It kind of looks like a box that would hold ears. And this is from Ears by Peculiar Pickens. Uh, in Missouri. So ears from Missouri. I have not opened this yet, but I, it says ears on the box and it's an ear kind of sized box. So I'm guessing it's handmade Disney ears. I'm excited about this. I always love more ears for the old ear collection and stash. Super pretty packaging, by the way. And it says Peculiar Pickens. What a cute name for um, an Etsy shop. It says, Becca, thank you for your wonderful content and your sweet disposition. You're welcome. I try. Uh, these ears were heavily inspired by some of your favorite things and made just for you. I hope you enjoy. Love, Nikki at Peculiar Pickens. Thank you so much, Nikki. Wow, they were made just for me. That is really touching. I will, um, of course, link to your Etsy shop, Peculiar Pickens Co., down in my description box. And now, Let's uh, peel back the tissue oh, and take a look at these ears. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are, oh, these are perfect for me. Um, this is actually one of my favorite Disney things ever. It's Belle from Beauty and the Beast and especially Belle in her blue dress. Look, it's like embroidered onto the ear and my favorite color is blue. And then there's a quote, it says, adventure in the great wide somewhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta give you a close up. I'm so touched that these were made with, with me in mind. So there she is, my fave, or, or one of my two fave, Princesses Belle, holding little Chip, and she's got her blue dress on, which is my favorite Belle look. And that's embroidered on one ear, and then in the center you've got a beautiful, kind of deep navy blue bow, and then a beautiful, um, like a kind of flowery gem. <laughs> embellishment in the middle and then it says adventure in the great wide somewhere gorgeous gorgeous pair of ears i'm gonna try these on right now i love my flower and garden ears by disney but handmade ears are always kind of my faves so here we go let's make a little switch oh i love these these are fantastic i'm so excited to have bell on my head i have very few bell themed ears i have a bell hat and i have a couple like beauty and the beastie ears but nothing that actually like has actual bell on it like this is a first for me so i'm super excited and thank you so much nikki i will link to nikki's ear shop peculiar pickens co down in my description box and i love the idea of these beautiful um embroidered ears you don't see stuff like that um terribly often so i'm gonna go check out her shop and you can too if you would like thank you very much i'm keeping these on because i love them all right, I have made it down to the final two pieces of magic mail that I set aside for today. I'm gonna do the mailer first and the letter second. I often save the letters till the end. I don't really have a good reason for doing that, but that's just what I'm in the habit of doing. Um, but this mailer that I'm holding in my hands is from New York. It's from Amherst, New York. There's some princess stickers on the front. And, ooh, just peeking inside, I'm already pretty excited about at least one of the things that's in here. There's a couple fun things in here, actually. Let me get the note out first. Ooh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, here is the note. It's on Alice in Wonderland stationery. Alice in Wonderland is another one of my fave Disney things. Not necessarily like Alice herself or any specific thing about it, just the whole movie and the whole like Alice world. I'm, I, I love Wonderland in general. I think it's because I love the books and I'm just a big literary dork. Um, but it says, hey Becca, thanks again for meeting me in Walt Disney World. Oh, it's from Madison. I remember meeting you, Madison. Hi, um, thank you for sending me something. I met Madison on my last trip to Walt Disney World. We met in Magic Kingdom and she's actually on my vlog from that day. So I will link to that vlog down below. That's a good vlog, by the way. It's all Magic Kingdom all day long. Anyway, it says, hey Becca, thanks again for meeting me in Walt Disney World. What a great way to close out my trip. You are a ray of light and positivity in the Disney community, and I am so lucky to know you and call you a friend. Well, likewise, Madison, I'm so glad we got to meet, and I can't believe you sent me more gifts because you gave me a very nice gift uh, when I met you as well. So that's just really extra kind and thoughtful. 
first up in Madison's package, I am seeing a pin, and I can already tell which pin this is, and I don't have this one. I have a lot of pins, um, and this is one that I actually don't have that I was hoping I would find at some point. This is from the uh, Ice Cream Bars Mystery Pin Pouch. It was released, I think, uh, earlier this year in the parks, and it features different Disney character-themed ice cream bars, and this is obviously the Tinkerbell one. I really love the design of this, and I'm a huge Tink fan, and these pins are actually really super nice as well. I opened a bag of them a few months ago on my channel, but thank you so much. Tink is one of my faves, and I'm excited to add this to my little growing Tinkerbell collection. Madison also sent me a few stickers and then something else that I'm really excited about. I'll save this for last because, ooh, it's so pretty. But here are the cute stickers. So we have this cute Walt Disney World sticker. It says, Happily Ever After. Happily Ever After is a wonderful fireworks show, by the way. Definitely one of my favorite nighttime things at Disney. And also this Fantasyland sticker featuring Dumbo and the carousel and the teacups. Love me some classic Disney attractions. And then also this sticker where it's just written in silver foil to infinity and beyond. And last but certainly not least, we have this little mini lithograph from the uh, Disney Movie Club featuring Lady and the Tramp. I love Disney art cards and I don't have this one and it's gorgeous. They look beautiful and I love how glossy it is. Thank you, girl. I would have had a hard time parting with this if it was mine. It's so, so pretty. Thank you again, Miss Madison, for thinking of me. And again, I'm so glad we got to meet. And I hope to cross paths with you again in the, in the Disney world because, you know, it's a small world after all. Here we go, last piece of magic mail for today. I'll be back next Monday, as long as everything keeps clipping along in life here with another magic mail video. But this one's from Macy, Macy in Ohio. I don't really know anyone named Macy, I don't think so. Hello, Macy from Ohio. Let's see, ooh, what's in here? Something fun. I see stickers and then I see, I see something else. It's like a little, like a little laminated envelope pouch thing. This is cool. It's got black and white Disney um, cartoons or comics and it's like laminated, like a cute little pouch. Like you could keep stuff in here. And then inside, <gasps> there's a note and it says Disney Kitty. The note says, hi Becca, I wanted to thank you for your information, your videos and your positive energy. I am currently preparing for my first trip to Walt Disney World in September for my honeymoon. Awesome! And your videos have been so helpful. Oh, I'm so glad. I am also beginning a small pin collection of Goofy and Winnie the Pooh Keep up the awesome content, love Macy. Thank you, Macy. I'm so glad that my videos have been helpful for your trip because I don't do a lot of like Disney tip videos, although I've been meaning to do that, but I kind of feel like people osmos information in while they just sit and listen to me ramble about all things Disney. You can kind of like pick up some things just by watching the random vlog or just hearing me chatter on. So I hope that's been the case and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful trip in September. September is a good time to go actually, although do be prepared for some humidity because uh, it can, can be quite humid down there in September, but great time to go. You can check out the Halloween party in September and uh, food and wine festival will be happening. It's, it's a fun time to visit. And Macy also sent me the freaking cutest sheet of Toy Story 4 stickers. I've got to show you these. Look at these stickers. These are super rad. And you've got Forky and Rex and Jesse and Bo Peep. Bo Peep was so badass in Toy Story 4. I really loved Toy Story 4. Some people have asked for a review and I'm not going to do a formal review just because it's it's so far after the fact now, but I really did enjoy the movie overall. My, my review is that two thumbs up. And that just about does it for today's Magic Mail Monday video. I'm back in action here for Magic Mail Monday. It's been a little bit tricky the last couple of weeks with travel and my sister had a baby and there's just been a lot going on, but feels good to be sitting down and filming and there's a, a lot more stuff coming up on this channel very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna snuggle my, um, my Disney kitty cat Dooney and Burke now off camera. But I hope your week is off to a wonderful start. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know something positive that's happened to you today or something you're looking forward to this week or just say something cheerful for Monday because sometimes on Monday we all need some cheerful things. I'll be back very soon with Disneyland vlogs, vlogs from the California parks. And I'll be back with some pin unboxings with my husband. I should have some more uh, Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes and Magic Your Door unboxings 
soon. Oh, I have a huge shop Disney haul too. I'm gonna see The Lion King on Thursday. I'm gonna try to review that for you. So many things I wanna talk about on this channel, so please stick around, hit subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Until next time, have a magical Monday, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys! Mwah! Mwah!